This is about as average as it fucking gets. <laughs> Ladies and gents, the humble British kebab. We're in Crawley at Troy Barbecue. Tipped off about this place, turned up today, and my God, was that a difficult ordering experience. I uh, nearly had to introduce the two people behind the counter. Hello, have you met this person? Honkin. Awful. I'm deducting two and a half points before I've eaten any food. That's what? how bad it was. The, the worst. It was like trying to get blood uh, out of a stone. No, blood out of a stone. <laughs> Sorry to swear. It was fucking dreadful. Now, before I crack on with this review, we've got a sponsor. The Meat Man, the nation's favourite Butcher, if you want the best meat delivered to your door, go and check them out. We've got FRC 10 as a code, which gives you 10% off your order, which with meat, such a valuable product, can really add up if you've got a family. They've got meat packs on there, they've got bundles, they've got rare and exotic meats, which you've already seen on the channel, and they've got the best repertoire of steaks, including some mental deals on there as well. Go and check them out. Loads of love from us to the meat man. Now, Callum, let's get on with today's review. Now, this kebab, Callum, fairly hefty, £13.20. I feel this, the vibe of the place, this should have been about five quid, but we'll go with £30.20 with a drink. You ready? Drink watch, Dr. Pepper. Probably gonna be the only good thing about this review. Oh. That's, I'm in, I'm, I'm, pe I'm peeved, Callum. I'm under the mood. I'm not in a, uh, do you know what, the sun is shining. I think she put you, <laughs> put you in a little funk. She was awful. Right, here we go. Looks, looks all right. It looks kind of good. We've got nice fresh salad on there. And underneath here, guys, this is what we really want to see. We've got chicken donna and our lamb donna. Now, I'm in camp. I'm in camp, happy to eat a kebab sober. Oh, I said to Callum on the way here, is it even a night out though, if you don't have a kebab? And you were in camp at McDonald's for a night out, aren't you? A kebab or a, or a Mackey's, yeah. Kebab or a Mackey's. I just think a kebab's better. A nice greasy donut. It's, it's actually proven, scientists at Cambridge or, or Oxford, I can't remember what it was, uh, did a study that if you have a kebab, you definitely don't get a hangover. Yeah, could be true. That true, is that true yeah. study, do you think? It's all that grease for that donut, soaked yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. That was a real study, by the way. Stephen Hawking uh, did it. Yeah. Yeah. My kebabs mean a lot to me. Right, here we go. I actually once saw him in that kebab did shop. Did you? Yeah. You saw Stephen Hawking? <laughs> Come out of a kebab shop. You saw Stephen Hawking in the kebab shop. What did he order? I don't know what he ordered, but he came out with one with his with did little he? age back in the day. Wow. You used to see him all the time in Cambridge. Sick. Bless up, Stephen Hawking. Rest in peace. Absolute hero. Probably wasn't for him, but yeah. Why was it not being for him? Maybe Steve loved the kebab. Right, let's get on with the review, Callum. <laughs> <laughs> We've got chicken donna, lamb donna. Yes, bro! Callum! Get up! <laughs> Both meats, I can confirm, came out of the hot tin. They weren't carved fresh. Now, look, not that that makes a difference. They might have just been carved. However, they probably were sweating. Uh, yeah, here we go. Can we just say it's, 12, it's like 12 o'clock? So, <laughs> they're definitely from last night. <laughs> I don't say that, Callum. This is a Monday, which will probably go out tomorrow. It's Tuesday. It's what now is midday on a Monday. Okay, first things to report. That chicken actually has a, a nice flavour. You've got some charred bits on the outside. Uh, looks like thigh meat. Nice. Mm. It's got a lot of depth to it. But it has a nice gentle flavour. Good marinade. Let's try some Donna. Guys, if you haven't already, by the way, and you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. We're uploading videos every chop. Get up every day. All right, here we go. There's the Donna. Officially looks like it's been cooked in a kettle, dishwasher. On, cooked on the radiator, I don't know. The radiator. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like it and all. One more bite. One thing I did want to show you though, look at this. 
I mean, is that the chili sauce? It's just a bit wet, or salad juice, meat sweat. It's just, it's not getting to it. Pizza so. pus. <laughs> wow. Cabbage curry, Crawley. What are you saying? If you're from Crawley, by the way, share this video because let's make it pop. Let's get it going. Double British kebab. This is about as average as it fucking gets. Um, I'm gonna give it a score today. Considering my deductions, I'll swerve the deduction because it'll make it really bad. Let's just give it a 5.1. I'm gonna nudge it over the fives, just because the chicken was actually decent. The salad looks fresh, but the just my experience and the donna, you're not going hard on that. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this content. Those of you that don't know, we're on the way to the airport. Shh. Like and follow for more content wherever we may end up. People licking your lips, checking the dips. Uh, we're checking out the best of the bunch so you can get your best breakfast, dinner or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with a food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.